Okay, this is a short video to show you how to upload the Flashforth software to an Uno using a Snap programmer and then take it back to the Arduino. And what I've got is you can see there's four windows on my screen. In the upper right hand corner is a terminal session where I've just written um, Optiboot to the Arduino. In the bottom right hand corner is a serial program called Serial. Uh, you could also use CoolTerm um, or if you're in Linux, most Serial uh, and then CoolTerm in Windows. Then I've got the classic uh, Arduino IDE, not the new one, not 2.0, but 1.89. In my lower left hand corner in the upper left hand corner you can see I've got the snap programmer on the left hand side and then I've got uh, interface board in, in a breadboard and then I've got my just a classic Uno. Now it does say FF reset cut that just simply means that I have cut the reset on this board but that's immaterial for this use you do not need to cut the reset um, pen that would that's only if you want to do any hardware debugging which we will not be doing uh, at this point in time. All right, so the way you do this is you use, so this is what the Averdude looks like, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Snap looks like. And the Snap is a $35 board from Microchip that allows you to program um, your AT Mega chips. And for $35, I think it's worthwhile. It doesn't come with the best interface. You can see that I've got to add a bunch of wires, and that's what all these colored wires are here. You can buy a little adapter that this, this ribbon cable fits into from Adafruit, which I highly recommend. I think it's around $10. And then use their, their ribbon cable, which connects from the adapter to the ICSP interface on the Uno. And then you need to make sure that your pin connections are correct. Look for the little, there's a little triangle by this red strip here. And that means pin one, and then there'll be a little dot on the interfaces. And what you need to do is match the, the little triangle to the little dot. Um, and that's the, probably the easiest way I can describe it. So once that's done, you plug in your snap, and then you plug in the Uno, and you've got everything powered up. Now, the way I do it is I go into my terminal program here. And I've already typed it in before, but I'll show you the command. And so here's the Optiboot command, which I um, I use the Optiboot software from the Optiboot repository on GitHub. That's all referenced on my Welly site that, that this video is sitting on. Uh, it's easily the best one that's there. It's the one that you want to continue using. You could also pull it out of your Arduino code if you want to go looking for it in the Arduino code. But I've got it on my desktop. I'm just running this out of my desktop and this is the command to do it. This command will also be on the Welly site. And then you just type in Averdu, the, the, uh, the chip, the interface, and then the file and the fuses and once again, this is really a copy and paste. You hit return and it writes to the Uno. And then how do I know that that's working? I can try doing an upload of the blink command and it says done uploading. And if the lights were a little bit dimmer, you'd see that the, uh, the Uno, actually you can tell the Uno is blinking um, just uh, very, very lightly just above that uh, white piece of paper. Okay, so that means my Uno's working. I can use it as an Uno, I can use it as an Arduino, and, and so on. Now, if I go the other direction, and I simply use, and all you'll find is you'll just change the name of the hex file, and this one is called 328-16MHz-38400.hex, and this comes from the flash forth avr x folder and that again is on the wellies com site wellies.com site which is where you are viewing this or found this video and 
So you and you do the same operation. All you're doing is changing the name of the file. And in this case, you hit return. It takes a little bit longer because the code is a little bit longer. And then I go to my serial program and I hit command D and I'm now connected. And if I press reset on the Uno, it says flash forth AT Megan. And this was actually the latest code. I just downloaded this a couple days ago. Um, and also, if you notice, let me disconnect the serial port. So we're disconnected. And if I attempt to use the Uno, it'll try to upload. And there's no program there to, to uh, connect to. So that's just not going to work. And so if you notice that you get these programming errors when you've got it in the Arduino mode, then simply you know make sure that you program it back with the Arduino OptiBoot software. And you go back and forth. And I'll, in fact, I'll do it one more time just to go back to show you. So now I'm, I'm programming the OptiBoot software. And I go back to the Uno. It's compiling, uploading, done uploading. And you can see it's blinking again. So, uh, and if I go back to my serial program and I press, I connect to it, nothing, nothing happens. Um, so I, do, I no longer have play. So that's, that's how you do it. Fairly simple. I thought it might be worthwhile demonstrating.